Yo, what up, my Shadow Army? So, this is Shadow Critias back again with another versus matchup video. So, yesterday I'll be doing a matchup video that that has been crossed my mind that I'm surprised no one even talks about, and that is Danji, the Jangsaw Man, versus Jin, the Zet Man, both from different franchise of Jangsaw Man and Zet Man series. And this will contain major spoilers for part one of the uh, Jangsaw Man manga. So if you guys don't want to be spoiled, you guys might as well read the manga online or get yourself a copy of it or whatever. And there's a lot of people may not know about Zetman as a whole. I highly recommend you guys watch the anime and the manga version. So yeah, I look, you guys want to learn more about who is Zetman. In the near future and let you guys know this is just my personal opinion about who I believe who actually went in the fight between these two characters so yeah so don't take this the wrong way and I will use these characters from their manga's state since Chainsaw Man anime is about to come out in the next couple of three months and uh, Zen Man already have his anime show and already finished up uh, manga. So I decided to might as well choose the manga version of each of these two characters. So again, this is just my personal opinion about who I believe I should win. So yeah, without other way, let's go ahead and uh, get into it. Denji is a human male age 16 until later on she be he became... 17 at the end of the manga series Denji is the main protagonist of the Jangsaw Man manga series as a young man He is inherited to his father's death from the ya from the Yakuza after many Pochita and he becomes the devil hunter for the Yakuza and an intent to clear his father's death once the Yakuza under control of the devil betrays Denji he dies and Pochito became his horror and and now he became the Jangsaw devil by pulling the, a core on his chest after meeting Makima he became a public safety devil hunter as a human form per fusion Denji is a teenager boy with blonde hair and he has a yellow brown eyes and a bag of under a uh, gnaw I think and it has a basically like sharp teeth from well well he has freaking sharp teeth you saw the freaking the manga before becoming a hybrid Denji was missing his right eye when and serving severe other non orgas uh not orgasm what the fuck organs including some of his testicle and his kidney he covered his missing eye with a eye patch. He wore he also wears losing white tank top and a green jacket and black pants during this time. After Denji forms a contract with Pachita, his heart his I mean his heart is fused with Pochita and Jangsa Core forms in the middle of his chest and he regains his lost organs so basically he gained back his testicles his kidneys and his and his eye which is which is um impressive for his age to survive by losing both or losing his kidney which is impressive and now he spent most of his time wearing a Standard public safety devil hunter uniform considered of a white t-shirt and a, a Whatever he wears he was uncomfortable with it during operation Super smart Denji downs a pure a fake classes From his hybrid form if he pulls the Jangsaw core while he has enough blood, he could transform in his, um, transform his head while 
morphing into a demonic machinery shape with a long chain fangs and chain saw uh, handle on the back long, uh, long chain saw with a mounds from his foreheads, arms, and legs if he desire it but but Denji's chainsaw core is pulled while he does not have enough blood then a chainsaw blade would will um will actually will just appear of his head I mean in his face so basically um yeah I'm right I just write all of this down so I can remember every single details about it um so basically Denji if he doesn't have enough blood, he would still be in his human form, but having um, just a little bit of chainsaw popped out of his head, just a, like a little bit part of it. But yeah, the blood is the only way where he could become a chainsaw man if he has enough blood, and also blood could actually basically regenerate Denji. Basically, he's immortal as a hybrid hybrid devil human or something like that for um so basically he is a, a walking tank basically but denji is not smart he doesn't have any intelligence he's definitely not smart or anything like that he's um let's be honest he's a country mouse type of person he never been in the city at all so that's basically the reason so to his um abilities of course he has a supernatural ability like a hybrid transformation while he pull the cord in his chest he does transform to his chainsaw man form unless he has enough blood but he does get his ass kicked like a lot and if he has or someone give some blood he actually will regenerate and gain more strength and be powerful so basically he has in enhanced strength durability and endurance and have chainsaw manifestings i can't pronounce it as a part of his transformation Dan uh, danji grows fully functionated uh, faction whatever chainsaws from his arms and legs and head so basically when he transformed, he could gain Jigsaw from each of his body, from his arms and legs. And of course, he has other abilities like Jigsaw, uh, can pronounce this one, Retransation. If he needs to full use of his arm and legs, Denji Jigsaw could actually react into his body. This has not been seen since in his full devil form yet so basically his manga not manga pff, mega chainsaw man form and of course he has chain entanglement so basically he could wrap around his opponent's body and slings them around like a freaking rad doll and he could use it like a freaking spider web so basically like Spider-Man type of way. And of course his devil transformation. After surrounding his after subduing his contract with Pro Bochita, Danji transformed into a full devil. In this form, Danji displays its uh in increases speed and strength, easy to defeat multiple hybrid devils in a mere matter of seconds. So basically he took out uh, the demon took us the 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 demon the devil hybrids one by one that were under control by Makima in the final chapters of the arc and um, yeah that's basically basically his form which I will people call it a mega chainsaw man. And of course, uh, Denji had this blood consumption, so basically healing ability. So, which is, I just mentioned when he actually first encountered the the 
that devil and the other devil that he basically have blood whenever he drinks it and actually restore his healing any injuries Jinx saw devil contract in exchange for living a, a normal life basically Denji basically uh, Pochita became his heart to have uh, fulfilling Denji's dream to have a normal life Blood Devil Contra in exchange for finding reincarnation Blood Devil and befriending with them Power gave all of his all of her blood to revive Denji Blood Jinxaw thanks to the blood gained from power Denji is able to manifest a Jinxaw from his from her blood and has similar design of Power's horn by using her blood manipulation ability, Denji able to uh, mentally use it against Monkima, which allow allow her allow him to defeat her. Basically, call her Monkima off guard the entire time. And of course, Denji does have some hand-to-hand -hand combat while he was training by um. What's his name? God damn it. Uh, I forget his name. Oh, Kishibe. Yeah, that's his name. Even without his transformation, Denji is capable of harm and arm fighter against the large devil, uh, lunch devil, leech devil, whatever you fucking call it. Which was many times he saw his size and weight. He was able to easily block her blow. Uh, deliver punches and headbutts with with enough force to damage her his skill improved further after training with Kishibe in which he learned to really more instead of you know blind strength so basically he learned some hand to hand combat not fully but he learned some um the entire manga series if you guys actually read the manga so yeah Jin is a human male that was created by the scientists of this company that want to create these pe create these creatures called the players for only kill each other so for entertainment for the audience for rich people to place them money on who actually will win this and that well, apparently it got out of hand so they decided to find Jin which is the the perfect being which is the Zet project and Jin's purpose is to hunt down and destroy and kill the escaped players before things get out of the hand until Jin realized that his father the one the one he calls grandpa doesn't want nothing what happened to Jin because Jin he wants Jin to have a normal human life and that's what Jin wanted and Jin is the main protagonist for the Zetman series and he's uh, the serious like character he doesn't play no game take no bullshit he gets right to the fight immediately because he doesn't take the he doesn't um you know play games he takes shit very very seriously and he has fought powerful players before but he managed to defeat them like easily where there's a tough this a uh, tough situation and there's a time he did lose before but at the same time he had fought a powerful player hell he even fought his childhood best friend who wants to become a freaking superhero that took his own justice in the wrong way that made his friend freaking so freaking psychopathic and none of that his best friend just killed Jen's girlfriend in the actual story spoilers if you've never seen it so, yeah, so basically, De Jin is basically the, the player hunter to hunt down each escaped player who escaped for so many years. And, and of course, uh, Jin does have a, a Zetman form. Well, he has the very first one, the white Zetman form. When Jin first turned into Zet, he has 75% of Zet in him. So he only can, only can turn white in the the first time because he doesn't have the full 
um, 100% Zetman form yet. Basically, it has to be red. So, basically, the transformation is slowly thin. It may be occurred during to the Zen rage and compassion. The transformation induced his body to groove. He has superhuman strength, agility, speed, and of course, he has the revolution ring that that is part of his um right hand which that only that that is only for where he can sense any player that he can find a hunt down so yeah so basically it's only for if he ever come across for any players around him so he has superhuman reflex uh, stamina and um god damn it freaking phone where is it where is it where is it where is it oh yeah and also um regeneration so it basically does have healing factor as well but Jin has regeneration from many um, mere injury in his short amount of time but it is that injury takes a long time healing so he does have healing factor but it takes some time to heal unlike Denji he needs a blood to regenerate to heal his room and of course Jen does have some combat experience when he was homeless when he was a kid Jen has been fighting for money since he was nine years old over the, the years he has developed a uh, developed more and more combat experience able to take on many opponents and so basically if you guys read the manga of the show he actually does have had that combat experience and also when he turned into his red form he's um in the anime series Jin, Jin actually acquired his true Z form the red and black during against the uh, the fight against one of the um, the shrimp uh, the shrimp player, the one of the monster, in the the show in the manga chapter of 187, he actually is basically he has his red form is a lot more powerful than his white form in a way, and then not only that, he has the ability to fly because in the end of the series. When he lost uh, Hanako, or I think it's Hanako or Himiko, or something like that. No, it was Hanako. He let his anger get the best of him, and he started to have it actually grown of eight bowl to have a tail, wings, and also some kind of like a freaking goggle or something to cover up his eye, like a battle mask or whatever. So he has that, but he doesn't use it from the anime because he destroyed it for some reason, but he still kept the tail in the anime version. But I don't know, he still kept it from the manga version. I honestly do not know because I stopped read, uh, stopped read the, the manga. So I honestly cannot tell, but... So yeah, Jin is basically the serious character that doesn't take no bullshit for the answer. So, yeah. And now let's go ahead and get my thoughts on who I believe will actually will win in the fight. So, between these two characters, this might be the close one that I could ever think of. But I did came up with a conclusion of who I believe will win. But again, if you guys believe that one of these characters will win, that's your opinion. Let me know in the comment section down below. But this is just my personal opinion. And I hope this video does make you guys be interested on Jin as a character. And interested on reading the manga and watching the anime version as well. Because like I said at the beginning of the video, none of y'all people don't know who the hell is, uh, Zetman is. Like, wow. Like, have you guys not seen my anime review on that? Like, damn, okay. So, here's something that's interesting. Denji only could transform into his chainsaw form unless he has enough blood. 
But Jin, on the other hand, he could transform to Zetman at any time that he wants without having drinking any blood. But he does have this kind of like this container medicine thing that he could transform, but until he has that white uh, circle thing that is part of his chest that made him made him go transform without the damn thing. And here's something that's different. There are healing factors. Danji needs blood to heal ma a major injury. Like, for example, Danji got cut in half and he needs blood to able to regenerate. After having the blood, boom, regenerated. But generally, hand, it takes a long time to heal. For, play for the player, they take a long time to heal. So basically, it's like your normal, typical human, but a supernatural way. It takes time to heal, but it heals a little bit faster. But for human, it takes a long as time to heal. So, yeah, and the one thing is, is so different is one simple thing. Jin never, never have like any interesting feats of any enemies that he fought. But Danger then, he managed. This is literally what happened. And his, well, mega jangsaw form, Makima sent his ass to in deep fucking space. And Denji, without second thought, he rips off his heart, throws it back down to Earth, and the heart transformed back to another physical body to come back to face all the face off Makima and the other hybrid devils. Which actually did happen. That's actually a feat for Denji, but there's no interesting feat for uh, Jin and both Zetman. And I know there's some Zetman fan out there who I wish there is. Might actually uh, disagree on this, but uh, please do, please do, because I I still read the manga. Let's be honest. And plus, and Jin never used a white form since well. The first time he actually unlocked it, and the only thing he only been have was his red form, and where Denji has only like three forms: his false Jinxaw Man form, which he's in his human form, but having a Jinxaw part of his head, and not only that, he has his actual Jinxaw Man form and his Mega Jinxaw Man form, where Pochita takes over. Now that, Jin has more combat experience than Denji, both in human form and their transformation form. Where Denji is a tanker and Jin is a, well, speed and strength. So, here's, here's the thing. Denji does take the fight seriously. But Jin, he's already serious whenever he's not in battle or whenever he's not in his Zetman form. He takes the fight very fucking seriously. Hell, he probably could fight Denji while he doesn't need... Okay, here's the thing. If Denji transforms to his Jinxaw Man form and Jin doesn't transform, he actually could face Denji while Denji in his Jinxaw Man form, which he can. Which... Jen, uh, Jen can because he done it before, and and on that, Dendry has a lot of ability for his Jinxaw Man that he actually have his Jinxaw abilities, his uh the Blood Devil contract abilities, and um among other things that I just mentioned. So he has a lot of abilities than Zetman even have. So again, this will be a close fight, but they both have limits. If they use their power too much, they actually be drained. So yeah. So this fight, I could see either one of them would win. But if I had to choose just one, it would make sense. Not because I love this series or anything like that. No, no, no. It's just because it just makes sense that he has a lot more abilities than him. 
So, yeah, in my opinion, I believe that Danji could possibly win to against a Jin. Yeah, Jin does have the advantage for hand-to-hand -hand combat, and he is a lot fucking faster, does have endurance, speed, and stamina, and um, agility, everything like that, but it doesn't uh, stand a chance against uh, a Jankstar Man, especially in the Mega, uh, yeah, uh, Mega Jankstar Man form. Cause that motherfucker is a goddamn tank. So the only thing Jin could do is just use his uh his speed and stamina and his combat ability to beat him down. Well apparently that will not be enough. Cause in that form he has like Denji has four arms, which is four jank saws. And not of that, his ring would not help. Because, well, Danji is not a player. He's a hybrid devil. So, yeah. And not only that, Danji does have both human he, human sense and devil sense. So his devil sense would not help. His human sense is the only way to find Jin. So that's it. That's the only way he can find Jin. But in Zentman form, he cannot. So basically... His sense will not help to find uh, Jin in his Zetman form, only in his human form. Jin's ring cannot help to find and track down Denji. So that will not help. So, and here's the thing. Jin takes some time to heal, where Denji could, could have blood to regenerate of his ma manor, um, minor injuries. But he can heal just like that with a snap of the finger. So yeah. This fight will be very interesting. And I can see either one of them win. But at the end of the day. In my personal opinion. I believe that Danji. The Jankson Man. Would win against Jin. From the Zetman series. Well guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know your thoughts your opinions down below. To what you guys think. Do you guys believe that Jen should have won this matchup or you guys actually agree that Denji actually won this matchup let me know in the comments down below tell me what you guys think like comment share subscribe links to my other channels my social media will be down below in the description box you guys know the drill again like comment share subscribe and i'll see you guys later kneel before shadow critias i'll see you guys later